Hey guys, t here. Today I got a Royal Navy Tier 4 battleship, the Iron Duke replay. It's on the map straight, and it's a domination game mode. Now my video on the Orion I put up recently, I kind of discussed briefly the shell selection of the Royal Navy. And in this match I kind of set out to test the AP shells a little bit more, based on some research I've been doing, and some testing that I've been doing. So. Just to briefly give you a rundown of what the, I don't know if it's a problem, but the difference between them is, is they have shorter fuses than your standard AP shells, which means they'll explode quicker upon impact. So what does that mean exactly? It's going to be harder to cause big damage against heavily armored um, spots on the ship, and it, it just kind of changes how you want to approach this. So, um, my current thinking on it is for these AP shells, instead of shooting at the waterline and trying to hit citadels like you would normally do in a battleship, I'm aiming more towards the top of the hull and hoping for shots to go into the superstructure, which is the all the structures above the hull, and also the top of the hull, which is more lightly armored than the bottom. The, the water line where the citadels are going to be located. And I think, based on the testing I've done and the research I've been doing, that's the way to approach it. And you'll see in this game it works out pretty well. So against cruisers, um, AP broadsides at the water line work really well. You can also get a fair amount of citadels with uh, HE, HE shells, but I'm trying to mainly use AP shells and the HE shells in the Royal Navy they have very high chances to set fire so I think the inclination of a lot of players when they see that is to identify that as like a strength of the ship okay like generally when you're looking at these ships from different nations you're gonna want to identify what sets them apart from the others and kind of play to the strengths of that ship but in my mind, you're giving up a lot of potential damage with the AP shells. I mean, the AP shells still have very high damage outputs. There's harder to penetrate the ship in the normal manner. So aiming at uh, less armored parts of the ship, I think, is the way to play it. And this is this video is kind of an invitation for comments on your guys' thinking, especially experienced players that are coming from like World of Warships on computers that might know a little bit more about this. The British line of ships weren't in the alpha test, which I was a part of, so I'm much more familiar with the uh, British, or I'm sorry, the Japanese and American lines of ships than I am the British ships. But I'm starting to get the hang of these, I believe, and I think it's based on kind of the adjustments that I'm describing making here. So this Tenryu, he was, he kind of, kind of ends up being a little bit of a pest here. He, he was sitting still, so I kind of shot with that in mind, and then he sped up right when I launched the salvo. So I barely, I think I hit him with one shell and got an overpen. Here I got a Furutaka. I'm more inclined to shoot at the cruiser than I am the battleship, but he's hiding behind the island, so we're going to take a shot here. Again, you'll see I'm aiming more towards the middle to the top of the middle of the ship, or the top of the hull as opposed to the water line, which I'd normally be shooting with like a American or a Japanese battleship. So you'll see I'm still getting a fair amount of damage here. I'm not really getting as many citadels against battleships, but I think that's just kind of the nature of the beast. Now this commander I have on the ship, I think his name is Xander Cunningham. I'm not 100% sure about that, but He's got a, I think that one of his tiered choices is between an increase in accuracy, so a decrease in dispersion, and then the alternate was a major reduction in uh, the time to switch shells if they're fully loaded. Now if you're familiar with my thinking, you know I'm always looking to cut down on the dispersion and increase accuracy. but on the British line, I'm thinking the ability to switch shells rapidly is more important just because you're going to want to be switching back and forth. 
I hear the Ten Ryu. I'm thinking, alright, you're done. I've had enough. He slams on the brakes. I miss him again. Really starting to tick me off. And to boot, he launches a torpedo salvo at me. Luckily, I'm able to swing it to the left uh, pretty rapidly and miss those. This is turning into a fool me once, shame on you. Fool me, we can't get fooled again situation. And I'm not gonna put up with this guy anymore, so we're gonna take him out. I can't have a tier 2 cruiser <laughs> messing up my game, you know what I'm saying? And you'll see there, waterline shot, no problem hitting the Citadel, we take him out. So again, the conundrum for me mostly comes down on where to shoot battleships. Cruisers I'm going to play the same as I normally would. Now this guy's going to go full broadside to us. And we're going to take the opportunity to fire another round again higher up from the waterline. That one we actually do hit a citadel. I think that was because it dropped to the waterline towards the rear of the ship, which is less armored. Keep in mind the battleships have less armor in the front section and the rear section than they do the middle. So I think that's how we got the citadel there. Um, but either way, that's I was kind of aiming up a bit from the waterline. Now here I'm assessing the situation. We got a problem here because I got this cruiser that's he's two kilometers away from me behind that island. So I'm gonna. Uh, commit a f to a full loop here. Uh, these battleships, the British battleships, extremely slow and extremely slow gun traverse. So if I would have tried to rotate my guns, I would never have caught up to this guy. This is the proper play and it works out perfectly. Swing all the way around. Yeah, it took a little while. And you'll see another problem is there's so slow traverse that I actually overturned the shot. So I had to let the... I had to I had to get off the rudder over there for a second, let the guns readjust back to catch up to where I was trying to aim. But we were able to take him out, and we missed his torpedo salvo, so that's perfect. Now here we got three targets, they're all out to the distance here. And I'm kind of assessing the situation, I gotta, I'm thinking we gotta get rid of this destroyer first. So you see I fully loaded the AP shells. And I believe right now I make the decision to switch to the, to the HE shells. And you'll see once they're fully loaded, if you have that perk engaged, it only takes about eight seconds to um, switch the shots. You see right there, it was about eight and a half, I guess. But that's much faster than trying to cycle through it for the full like 30 second reload or whatever it is. So we're just sailing forward trying to spot him. There he is. Um, I don't want him to cause problems for us, so even though he's going to be a harder shot to hit, and again, Battleship's primary responsibility isn't to kill destroyers, but it is their primary responsibility to kill destroyers when those destroyers are threatening them. Now, he's not going for me yet, but I got this other Battleship to my north here, and I can't trust him to take care of this guy, so I got to do it myself. You see that first salvo? I ended up hitting his rudder and his propulsion, which uh, slowed him down quite a bit. He was able to land another shot. Now I'm deciding, do I want to finish him off or rely on my teammates? But again, I'm not going to take that chance. I'd rather... And that was just a partial salvo there, but we take him out. And now I make a bit of a mistake. Um, well, first we take a shot at this Kuma. But yeah, you can see, there's the mistake. I. I should have known based on the fact that I had just shot that it wasn't fully reloaded. But in the corner of my eye, I saw my guns were white on the bottom, which means they're loaded. But only three out of the five were white, so I made the decision to switch to the AP early, which causes it to be a full, long reload. Didn't end up ruining the game, but it could have. Now this Kuma, he's up next. We're going to pop him, and I'm angling my ship with that New York in mind. I didn't want him shooting me broadside, so I was pointing as uh, I was pointing my ass in towards him as vertically as I could, while still allowing all my guns to fire on the Kuma. The Kuma wasn't aiming at me, so I knew he wasn't a direct threat, and I'd much rather take a broadside shot from him than I would the New York. Now there, he did manage to catch me as I was turning. That could have been 
the end of my game, but luckily for me, he did not hit the citadel. And again, we aimed up towards the top of the ship here. And we're able to drop some in. So you see, we're getting some decent damage. Now, would I prefer citadel shots? Yes. I'm just not confident in these British battleships' ability to hit them. At least, I'm only obviously through the tier 4. But studying the statistics of the line, I think it's kind of an ongoing consideration. And again, I want you guys with more experience with the battleships to let me know in the comments so I can keep evolving how I think about them. But as of right now, this is how I want to play it, and I'm comfortable doing so. And you can see here, I'm waiting for him to shoot. I angle my armor at him, allow him to shoot, let him bounce a shot or two off me, then I open it up. Now I'm closing it down again. This is kind of textbook how to duel with a battleship. Now if he was being a major problem, I could just keep the angle closed the entire time and just fire the front two guns, but... I'm seeing he's willing to trade shots. You see there, he's just getting very minor damage hitting the superstructure. If he was, I don't want to say a better player, but if he was playing it how I would consider more properly and forcing me to keep my angle closed, I'd be fine to shoot in the front two guns, but he's kind of allowing me to time my shots with him. So Overall, I thought this was a pretty good replay. I. Liking my current thinking on the AP shells with the British line, but I do want to hear your thoughts, of course. So please leave the comments below. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, well, consider subscribing. I got plenty more World of Warships content coming out all the time. And I hope that helped, and we'll see you guys all later. Alright, peace.